I'm Callum Hobman. Here's a look at what we're following on this Wednesday. This morning, surprising news from California. Despite the drought, water usage rose 19% in March compared to the same time in 2020. Now, unprecedented new restrictions are being imposed in Southern California, where starting next month, outdoor watering will be limited to two days per week. Los Angeles Mayor Eric Garcetti addressing ways to make sure people do so. Don't panic. We have plenty of water if we all do the right thing. Don't just come out with a ticket and say, OK, we're going to fine everybody who makes one violation. We actually would like people to be compliant. We'd like them to figure out that it's in their interest. So we'll have people who we're uh, ramping up what's called our blue teams. Those are people who can come when there's a complaint if somebody sees somebody watering on the wrong, wrong day or multiple days. And we'll work with those folks to educate them first. And the California Senate passing a bill to lower indoor water usage to 42 gallons. Later today, the abortion rights debate takes center stage on Capitol Hill. The Senate will vote on a measure to codify abortion rights into federal law. It's all part of the latest fallout from that Supreme Court draft opinion leak, indicating Roe v. Wade could be in jeopardy. This vote comes as some states prepare for an influx of patients if the high court does strike Roe down. Senate Majority Leader Chuck Schumer drawing a hard line for Republicans ahead of today's vote on codifying abortion rights. Either vote to protect the rights of women to exercise freedom over their own bodies or stand with the Supreme Court as 50 years of women's rights are reduced to rubble. Connecticut now expanding abortion access and protections for practitioners. New York announcing a $35 million fund to support abortion patients and providers. And behind the scenes, a bipartisan effort to preserve access to abortion and contraceptives under federal law. Democratic Senator Tom Kane saying he's been in talks with Republican Senator Susan Collins about compromise legislation. And let's switch gears now and send things over to 23BC's Veronica Morley with a check of our weather forecast. Good morning. We're monitoring some heavy winds out in our eastern areas. You can see they're seeing wind speeds today and tomorrow upwards of 30 miles an hour, so it's very gusty for them. We're seeing some breezy, gusty winds here on the valley floor, but not quite as heavy. So today we've got that high of 68, 75 tomorrow, and then we're reaching those 80s as we head into this weekend, seeing a high of 90 on Sunday and sticking with those 80s heading into next week. Lake Isabella today and tomorrow, 60s and 70s, then you warm up into those 80s and stick with those 80s through the weekend and next Next week, Tehachapi and Fraser Park a little cooler in those 40s, 50s, and 60s for the start of this week. But you're warming up to those 70s by Friday and sticking with them as we head into this weekend, sticking into those mid 70s heading into next week. That'll do it for this update. We'll bring you another one later today.